Hey guys, Brian from Excess Motor Works and welcome back to my shop. So this is going to be video number three in the uh, series of videos I'm making on how to build my own car. And unfortunately, this is going to be the last video right now of this series because, well, I screwed up. And I'm going to have to start all over, so I thought ahead and I thought I'll go ahead and make a whole new series, start actually uh, using some more modern drive components. We'll get to that in just a second. Okay, let's go ahead and discuss what the problem actually is. So if you've been watching these videos at all, you'll hopefully recognize this tire. This is the tires and rims that I used to actually create this jig. The problem is that these are 245, 45R17s. That means they are 25 inches high. Um, that's actually where the problem is because I don't want to run a tire this small. I'm anticipating make, making about a thousand horsepower with these two cars. And uh, basically these tires just aren't going to have enough, uh, enough uh, surface area to actually take care of uh, putting power down to the track. So I'm going to run a 325 and I also want to run a 21 inch rim and the 21 inch rim with the 325 uh, uh, surface area. I only have two aspect ratios available to me a 25 and a 30. The 25 is a 27 inch high tire and the 30 is a 28 inch high tire and I'm actually leaning towards running the 30. That'll actually help me with some of my gear ratios and we'll discuss that in later videos. But what does that actually mean? Well, if I run a 30 inch tire and I, this jig was built for a 25 inch tire, that means I'm three inches off. And that means from this point right here is really needs to go up an inch and a half to make sure that the suspension geometry is actually, actually where Corvette or slash GM actually put it. You could actually just say, well, why don't you just raise it up and, and go with the, a little bit different angles there. Well, the fact is, is I'm not a great uh, suspension geometry expert. GM has spent a lot of time and money creating the suspension geometry, and I don't want to actually change it uh, before I even got the car built. Now, I actually may end up lowering it or, or changing it slightly, but my goal really is to have this be at the factory ride height and do all my changes prior to building the car with these frame rails, right? So this is actually only four and a half inches off the ground versus Corvette's six inches off the ground. So that basically means, as you can see, that if I raise this up, um, this uh, is probably not gonna be able to touch. And this whole, uh, basically this whole frame rail we created is, is garbage. Um, so when I thought about it and I said, well, I really don't wanna go in that direction. I, I wanna start right because this is actually the first part of the car I'm making. Um, I opted to basically scrap this whole thing. And in doing so, I also decided that, well, this is a C5, C6 setup. Uh, why don't we use a C7? Because they're a lot more available these days and, and they're still reasonably priced uh, from when you get like totaled cars. So that's what I did. I ended up buying a rear section of a C7, took the uh, C6, chopped it up in little bitty pieces and hauled that off to the dump. So we'll go ahead and give you a little bit of teaser on that of the removal of the C6 and then the bringing in of the C7. And the next video of the series will actually be going through this whole process of creating a jig again uh, with the right height. And we'll actually be doing some things a little bit differently. Uh, this frame rail is not really what I ultimately wanted to do. I, I did find a, a shop out in California that will actually make these double bends, these uh, right here. But what I need to do is actually create it out of something so I can put it into CAD and let them know where these two uh, profiles need to cr cross. Basically, is it a 12 inch drop or a, you know, 11 and a half or whatever the case may be. So I still have to set everything up, um, and I think I'm actually going to do that a little bit differently coming up in the next videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, uh, think about subscribing and stay tuned, uh, as well as I'm on Instagram, uh, so you can hit me up there. I do a lot more updates uh, by that media platform. So as always, thanks for watching, and hope you have a day today.